Hello everyone, welcome to Heal Your Heart EECP Treatment Center. Today we are going to discuss about a very important question which is commonly asked by many patients which is better EECP treatment or angioplasty and stenting. So usually when the patient walk here they have already gone for an angiogram and they have consulted various cardiologists and uh, most of them would have opted them to go for an angioplasty immediately. So when they enter the clinic they are already in a panic and asking us uh, whether they may able to avoid an angioplasty and whether EECP would be effective. So if you want to answer the question which could be an effective treatment for them whether it's EECP or angioplasty let's just uh, look at the history. Angioplasty uh, started in 1977 to 80s and uh, during the period angioplasty got popularized and now it's 2023 is almost 45 years it has been under practice. In spite of being utilized across the globe of more than 5 lakh angioplasty is done every year across the globe still there is no elusive study to show that angioplasty really do reduce your chest pain and improve your quality of life and improve your exercise tolerance. It's very surprising because after 45 years why is still there is no paper published? This is because of a uh, logical mind. So usually when we talk, think about logical mind it is very easy to simplify. Look we are going to open the vessel put a stent inside the vessel and then definitely the blood is going to get improved and definitely the anginal symptom or the chest pain is going to come down and the patient can able to walk more distance. How bad it can get worse? It's very very logical. But unfortunately our body is so complex and it doesn't follow the logical way of analyzing strings. That is why in research what we call as randomized placebo controlled trial are very very predominant in clinical cardiology. So any drug or any procedure you are undergoing for any disease or any uh, alignment. For example if you are taking a treatment for your pain this drug is approved after a trial called randomized control trial. Or example if you are taking a medicine for your stomach pain or you are taking a medicine for your cancer all these drugs are approved after rigorously going through a randomized control trial. And then, you, then I can ask you a question back. Uh, would did angioplasty really underwent this trial? The answer is no, not until 12, uh, 2017. Until 2017, even though there are various reports about the efficacy of angioplasty in stable patients like a single vessel disease or double vessel disease, mostly it is agreed it would improve the symptoms. But in 2017, the first randomized placebo control trial was done on angioplasty. So what is this randomized placebo control trial? Let me put it in a very simple way. So there is a group of patients where they are on medical management and then you, you put them on an angioplasty. So they have undergone angioplasty and then other group of patients we call it as a control. So they do medical management but they were made to believe that they gone for an angioplasty. So in fact they are wheeled into the uh, uh, cath lab or your operation theatre, they are given anesthesia but they have not put any stent. They are brought back to the ward and discharged and the physician who is in charge made them believe that they actually undergone the procedure. So these patients are followed up for 6 months. So the usual logical mind is going to say definitely the patient who have gone a medical management and angioplasty would do far better than patient who have gone for only medical management. But to the surprise of the world the result came opposite. In fact the patients who are only in medical management who they are made to believe they have gone for angioplasty too did very well and their exercise time and their quality of life and their angina they are all equivalent to the patient who have actually undergone the procedure. But they were able to achieve this without any risk of undergoing an invasive procedure. So this invasive procedure group there are a lot of complications which is are all procedure related which is accepted. So in fact this trial has created a lot of doubt and this is what we call as a placebo. So why did the patient who did not go for an angioplasty did show some improvement. This is called placebo effect because this patient was able to think that they have actually gone through the procedure and they placed a stent and now the problem is resolved. So they become happy and they started doing their exercise as routine and they even forgot the symptoms. The status remains the same but there is no symptoms. So this is a powerful effect of placebo that's a patient's hope that they have improved.
So this trial has questioned the efficacy of angioplasty because doing an angioplasty did not improve the symptom at all. And now let's come to another treatment because we are comparing EECP with uh, angioplasty. Now EECP is now in the market for almost 20 years. As soon as the EECP was approved, the first uh, placebo randomized control trial was carried out in 2000. And here they did the same thing, a group of patients. They actually undergone uh, medical management and they did a 35 hours of EECP treatment. And there is another group, they went for a medical management and they were made to believe that they actually took EECP. In fact, they came every day for 35 days to the EECP treatment, but the pressure given is suboptimal. It means they have not given enough pressure to alter the blood flow at all. So they followed for one year and in fact, this EECP did far better than angioplasty in this group of patients because the patients who actually undergone the real EECP, they felt more better, the symptom is less, their walking distance is improved and these are all preserved up to one year. So here EECP has definitely shown it has improved the blood flow and reduced the symptom and there is no placebo effect. So when we compare both of this, we can conclusively make a statement that yes, EECP is better than angioplasty in relieving the symptom and it does not have a placebo effect which is more predominant in the patient who are undergoing for an angioplasty. The reason is also well evident now. When you do an angioplasty, you are going to stent the vessel which is diseased. But the problem is not one vessel, the entire myocardium has low blood flow because there are minor vessel blockage or micro vessel blockage in many where there still there is a reduction in blood flow. But EECP, it increases the blood flow throughout the heart. It's not specific to one coronary segment or one vessel. It increases the entire heart blood flow to the heart muscle. So that's why we may conclude this video saying that definitely EECP would be superior to a Angioplasty. Angioplasty.